Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 32 inch Sony LED TV. Here in this TV, you can see the complaint is double image and color changing issue. See friends, this is the fault. You can see the picture shows double screen. Also, you can notice the color change on the display. As we discussed earlier, these types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panels. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. If both sides of the panel is short, then it is not repairable in that situation. Panel replacement is the one and only solution. After all, in this TV, here we are implementing a temporary method. The permanent solution is panel replacement. See friends, here you can see, this is the model number 32R300C. This is the model number of this particular 32 inch Sony LED TV. So for repairing, here we need to remove the shorting from the panel. If the shorting is from the right side of the panel, then we need to cut down the right side gate signals. If the shorting is with the left side of the panel, then we need to cut down the left side gate signals. If both sides of the panel is short, then it is not repairable. See friends, now we open the back cover of the LED TV. You can see this is the motherboard. This is the LVDS cable. And this is the panel scalar board in below. Here you can see. Now let's remove this covering. See friends, it's a single cough Samsung panel. See friends, these are the gate signal tracks. That is marked in the video. So friends, here I am going to first cut down the gate signal CKV tracks from the left side of the scalar PCB. Friends, here we now disconnected the gate signals from the left side of the scalar PCB. You can see the gate signals are cut down. Now let's turn on the TV and check the picture. See friends, now the Sony logo appears. The double image is sold successfully. But here you can see the one third of the display shows black screen. See friends. Now the one third of the display is showing black screen. Because of that, let us rejoin the cutter tracks from the left side scalar PCB. And then we need to cut down the gate signals from the right side scalar PCB. See friends, for rejoining the cutter tracks, here we removed the TV frame. So here you can see. The front frame of the TV is removed. See friends, after removing the front frame, now we can easily rejoin the cutter tracks. And here we cut down the right side CKV lines. See friends, the earlier cutter tracks are rejoined. Now we cut down the other side of the panel. Now let's turn on the TV and check the picture.
now we connected the DC adapter now let's power on the TV see friends now the Sony logo appears friends here you can see the result after cutting the other side of the panel now the double image is sold successfully here you can see now the picture is perfectly clear there is no double image and color changing issue see friends now the gate signal shorting is removed see friends after all this is just only a temporary solution and we cannot predict how long the TV display will work using this method it completely depends on the user luck basis at present condition now the display is ok and the TV is repaired successfully if both sides of the panel is get shorted then one and only solution is panel replacement now we can put the TV front frame Friends, now we connected the front frame back to TV and also we connected all sockets back to the motherboard. Here you can see the left side CKV gate signal tracks are cut down but the complaint remains same. So we rejoin the cutter tracks in the left side and then we cut down the right side gate signal tracks. After cutting the right side gate signal tracks, now the display is ok and the TV is repaired successfully. Now we again power on the TV. Now let's check the picture. Here you can see now the TV Sony logo appears and here you can see the final result. Now the TV is working properly without any double image or color changing issue. Before putting the back cover here we checked the TV display more than 2-3 hours. So at last now we can put the back cover and all screws back to this TV. Friends, finally we put all screws and back cover back to the TV. Here is the final result after removing the gate signal shorting from the panel. So hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thanks for watching. For this kinds of panel repairing videos, please subscribe our channel and support us.